Welcome to Real Talk, where a real voice actor tells you what's really happening inside the mind of a VO. My name is Kelly Wilson. I am a voice actor for commercials, videos, e-learning narrations, children's educational content, and more. And in my past life, I was an audio engineer for an on-hold messaging company, copywriter, producer, radio DJ, ops assistant, promotions, programming, production. I worked in admissions and PR and higher ed. And for a little bit, I was even a TSA officer. Each week, I provide tips and tricks on what to look for in a voice actor, what the voice actor really needs from you so you can uplevel your brand, and what exactly is going on in that voiceover's mind. Weirdo. Hey, it's Real Talk with Kelly Wilson. So before I moved out here to Idaho, I'm from Florida originally. I now live in a small town called Twin Falls, Idaho. It's uh, close to Boise. I think I said that right. I have to look it up every time. Um, so before I moved here, I did a, a phone interview, like uh, no Zoom or anything. I'm not that old, but yeah, no, no Zoom. Um, but it was a phone call. You're like, uh, I think it was on my cell phone. It may have been a landline that my parents, because I was totally at my parents' house. Mm. Um, I think that was like the second or third time I bounced back because uh, bad roommates, bad boundaries. Anyways, I'm doing this phone interview for a radio station that I no longer work at. And before the interview, I prepared for that interview like it was a face-to-face interview. And what do I mean by that? I mean, I, you know, showered, I put makeup on, I um, went into a quiet room where I knew I wouldn't be uh, disturbed or distracted. Squirrel, anyone? I get distracted hard. Um, so I set it up for myself for success. I even put like, I don't know, I don't know if I wore a dress. I don't really like dresses, but, uh, you know, I look nice. I, I put business clothes on. I even, I may have had shoes on and I don't like wearing shoes <laughs> like ever. <laughs> But, you know, I I treated it, the physicality of it, as if it was a real face-to-face interview. I even had notes and paper. And um, I did very well on that interview. I landed the job and I wound up, I was offered the job, wound up moving out here and stuff. Um, And that brings me to fast forward now. My son is going to be doing um, guided online virtual first grade where his teachers will guide him, and I'm going to have to help too. The deal with that is, when that starts, he's going to have to get dressed. And I guess I'm going to have to get dressed every single day too. Oh, crap, I just realized that. We're going to get dressed, get in the mindset of, all right, school has started. We're going to get physical. We're going to alter what we're wearing and the world around us um, so we have clear guidelines and boundaries and so we can just jump into character. And we're going to do that for school. I've already told them, and we're going to have to wear clothes. This kid loves to wear just lounge around his underwears. Like, nobody. Like, when school's over, you can change into underwear, man. But until then, you need to wear, you know, clothes. I don't know if I'm going to make him wear shoes or anything inside the house, but um, we're both going to be dressed and ready for success because it does something. It helps you get into character. Okay, how does this have anything to do with voiceover? So if I have a job and I can't land the certain read, I have this um, bracelet that has a message on the inside that says, I am a warrior. So if I need to go into, sometimes I'll put it on just for fun. Sometimes I'll touch it and activate it, if you will. Um, For example, I've had to do these, I'm a corporate, uh, more in a, I'm rocking a power suit. I'm a corporate woman, and I am here to deliver your message and blow your face off in the best way. Sometimes I will put that bracelet on, activate it, if you will, and boom, I step into that character. Sometimes I need to be motherly, and I'll break out my son's, he's got this heart, this rock that's shaped like a heart, and he painted it red, and he gave it to me, and I still have it. So I will use these physical things to get into character Or if I can't find them because, ah, if you're like me, you kind of lose stuff around here, um, I will just imagine it and be like, all right, I need to be soft and motherly. Or if I'm having a real issue, I will, you know, get dressed. I will dress a certain way. I'll put some, you know, a nice dress on or slacks or I'll dress the part if I need help to get into character. Um, So that has worked well for me and it continues to. The more I do voiceover, the more I can play pretend and be like, okay, I'm a corporate person, even though I'm wearing sweatpants or my workout gear or whatever, um, and jump into that character and do it. So 
if you've never tried this before, dare you to do it, whether you're doing voiceover or anything you want to be in your life. Um, if you want to be more professional, start rocking a suit or something. It works. Give it a try. If you want me to cover something on here, uh, ask me. Kelly at kellywilsonvo.com. Please do me a solid and rate and review this podcast and share it with a friend or a colleague, anyone who you think would find this helpful. You can join my email community and you'll never miss out on an episode of Real Talk. And score my freebie, a list of five fantastic voice actors to add to your roster when you sign up, kellywilsonvo.com slash subscribe. And yeah, one of them is me. Bye.